ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Barcelona beta save following the distress of the earlier Southampton one. Hopefully you saw the video earlier kind of talking you through the how it's all going uh, and what we're doing here. Um, Barcelona then. We're playing Valencia today in the first game of the season. Let's show you kind of the schedule and what's happened. We haven't made any transfers because we have no money. I tried to bring in Graziano Pella for free. He didn't even want to come. He went to America instead. So there you go. But we played uh, the second team where we actually lost. Uh, we then drew with Ghent. Beat Bayern 2-1 in a bit of a steal, to be honest. Uh, we probably shouldn't have won that game. Then lost to Man United 2-0 and then drew with Marseille. So it's not a good start. Um, I, I am determined to play this tiki-taka formation, a tiki-taka style, uh, and using the young players as well. So... We will jump into the game straight away. It'll be a nice one today, nice quick. Just show you what's happened and what's gonna, how we're gonna play, and hopefully see us do all right. Um, to Stegen in goal, Dest, PK, Lenglet, and Alba at the back. Busquets in front with De Jong and Roberto in the midfield. Uh, Akamak, who come up from the B team, uh, 17 years old. I thought, why not whack him in the side along with Depay and Yusuf Demir up top. We have got. A lot of injuries still. Pedri's on holiday. Coutinho's injured. Uh, Aguero, Dembele and Fatty are all injured. But when they come back, hopefully that will make things a little easier for us. Uh, and we'll be able to get a few more wins under the belt. But hopefully if we can start well today, get the win at home. We'll auto number for them, those guys. Uh, and it might end up being a nice, easy victory. We never know. Um, it's it, You always have the build up and it could end up being a fantastic win or an absolute demolition job but we're at home we're at the new camp we could absolutely get a win here uh, and start the season off right but let's take a look at their lineup an interesting 4-1-4-1 formation Rendell Correa at right back Diakabi and Gaia as well there um, some some big names obviously Real Madrid are top after winning their first game against Sevilla so I'm sure they'll be the ones challenging for the title along with Atletico Madrid. He'll be looking to defend it, I'm sure. Uh, but let's get started in the game and hopefully see us get the win. Early on then, Memphis Depay with a free kick. It's long range and it is absolute perler. First goal of the season, first free kick, 14 minutes in. And Memphis Depay has banged it in to give us the lead. Uh, uh, what a start. What a start. A lovely, lovely free kick. It's pretty far out as well. And he has put it top corner, giving the keeper no chance. An excellent start. But it's their turn with a free kick. It's dinked into the box. Are we able to head it cleared? Not quite, but it is headed over. Uh, but I think Stegen had it covered. I think I was, I'm, I'm pretty confident that he did anyway. Uh, we'll, we'll say he did and we'll just see how that went. But um, there you go. 1-0 still. 30 minutes gone. Can we hold on till half time? I'd be happy with that. Uh, possession wise how's it looking 55 percent possession for us so far which is good uh, and 92 percent pass completion so we're not losing the ball too much i don't think um a lot of it coming forward three on target shots and five shots in total hoping that would be a little bit higher but nothing too much to worry about you can see on the bench here we've got a few players from our b team lucas de vega has been brought up as a midfielder who can play any of the three positions there um nico as well another holding midfielder who's very very good very well rounded mentally and physically uh some some technical stats that can improve that shouldn't be a problem and obviously we've still got the likes of gavi in the, there and Rikwi puig uh along with plenty of other players i'm sure you're aware of martin braithwaite is awful i don't want to play him i never want to play him why he's playing for barcelona at 99k a week i will never know but We'll leave it there, um, go straight into the second half uh, and, and just see how we go. Uh, their 4-1-4-1 four, one, four, one formation is probably inviting us on a little bit, meaning it's quite good that we're keeping the ball, using that ball to keep hold of things. We are playing a short corner routine, haven't seen one yet, <laughs> so can't really comment if it's working. Um, a decent effort though from the long range shot from Sergi Busquets. Uh, but here we go, short corner. Can we make something happen? Let's see if this works. Into Memphis Depay, who's going to look to turn. Uh, is he able to get a cross in? No, it looks like he's being pinned right in the corner. Oh, he's managed to get a yard. That was the most point. That was that was literally the most pointless corner I've ever seen. What, why were we shown that? <laughs> I don't understand. Show us the corner of him pa passing it to Depay. He gets a yard and then it just cuts off. 
Uh, <laughs> but there you go. Musa is on for them. Yunus Musa, who's a fantastic young wonder, wonder kid, young player, uh, who I would certainly recommend keeping an eye out for if you can look to sign him. Uh, but there you go. Um, I think what we'll do is take Dest off and put Mingueza on at right back, maybe? No, what we'll do, in fact, is put Sergio Roberto at right back and we will bring on Gavi as well and we might swap them over no I think we'll leave Gavi as the roaming playmaker there as well um but so far so good so I'm I'm pretty happy with this there's not really been any trouble uh from the away side and if it's a 1-0 win it's a 1-0 win and we'll take that uh, granted we haven't created that many chances and it was a free kick that was scored to win the game for us by the looks of it but um it could have been worse. A win is a win at the end of the day, and we will absolutely take that. They look like they picked up the the game by the scruff of the neck near the end there, and it could have looked a little bit sketchy, but um, certainly nothing to worry about. I think what we will do is we will also play the Alaves game. So the first two games of the season we'll take a look at. So I'll jump ahead, uh, get to the game, and we will play that one as well. All right, so we're at the Alaves game now. Um, we have changed things up a little bit. Just moved Sergio Roberto at right back. Gavi's come in to centre midfield uh, and Dest has moved to the bench. We've managed to bring back Neto, so he's sitting on the bench there. Still got two spots available for players who are injured, uh, but no point risking Balde or Araujo to come on there. And the same with Coutinho and Ansu Fati. No point. Should be fine. Hopefully we can get a win again. Yustamir up top, making his debut last game. Uh, he did all right. Nothing too special, though. Uh, but hopefully him playing in the false nine can work. And then Memphis Depay obviously scored the free kick to get us the win. Hopefully he can do that again uh, and get us another win today. He is kind of the talisman at the moment going forward uh, with some younger players around him. But hopefully he can thrive in that position and become a fantastic player. But there you go. Lejean from formerly of Newcastle, who have just obviously got a shed load of money. <laughs> He's playing for Alaves, but... There's our fantastic team. Young Gavi in the midfield. Will Akamak on the match? I don't know if that's said right. Please tell me in the comments if you can can somehow help me pronounce that. Um, and then Demir up top. Some young players in there. So it's good to see we're slowly bedding in those younger players. And I'm sure we'll easily be able to bring in some more as well. But to start with, losing up to the ball. But a good chance for Roberto to win it back. And Langlit has now got it. Are we able to make something happen in the first couple of minutes or minute of the game even? Gavi, looking out wide to Memphis Depay, who I'm sure is going to look to do something special, plays through to Jordi Alba, who's managed to get around the back. Can he get a ball into the box? Um, he plays it back to Gavi, who again looks for a dink in. De Jong's not quite able to get there, but Busquets does latch onto it. He's looking out wide to Roberto now. Then down the line to Ilias uh, Akamic. Mac, I'm going to call him Ilias because that's the best I can do. What a strike, though. Um, I, I'm talking about his name. and uh, It's a name to remember because that was an absolute worldie of an effort. Um, keeper does very, very well to tip it onto the bar, but we're not able to quite get anything from that initial effort. But it's, it's a good start. Yusuf Demir now looking out wide to Jordi Alba, who's coming forward again. He's going to look to get a ball back to Gavi, back to Alba. Back to Gavi, one twos all over the park. De Jong's got a bit of space, fires it. It is ending up over the bar, but it's good. We we're keeping the ball well. We're moving it. We're creating chances. The ball hasn't got into the box quite as much yet, but uh, I think I think we should be safe enough to assume that we can definitely get a goal. I mean, the possession stats show that we are absolutely dominating things on that front. Uh, we just need to maybe create a bit more. If we maybe change the attacking because we're dominating so much, that might. Give us a bit more going forward because we're throwing a few more players forward. Maybe a bit quickly as well. I have got Josselu up top as well. Uh, who's a big player. Uh, physically, not emotionally. I don't think that's right. But half-time, nil-nil. Um, maybe we've got to change something because it's not quite working. Uh, Demir, you can come off and I'm not bringing Braithwaite on. Well, let's put Luke de Jong in at force nine. Um, and see if he can do anything to possibly make a difference in the game. I mean, that is the slight problem we've got, is we haven't got anyone going forward who can really come on to change a game at the moment. With the likes of Fatty, Dembele and, and Aguero all injured and unable, 
to play. Um, even Pedri, who's who can play further forward, um, out for the count. We are a little limited. Um, still nil nil. We've got ten minutes to go. Ilias, oh, I don't want to bring Braithwaite on. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna do it. I'm I'm determined not to play him. Um, Nico, we'll bring you on for Sergio Busquets. Why not? And we'll also bring on Puig for Frankie de Jong. So I've taken two experienced players off for two younger players because I don't know what else to do. No, 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 of course not. No, it's because I'm thinking they've got a little bit more freedom to their play. How they're going to play. They're going to be a bit more risk. They're not going to be risk averse like the older players. They're going to take risks and make something happen. Hopefully. Um, we're very high up the pitch. I hope we don't lose it here because this could be a problem. But Nico looks out wide to Ilias. The ball is nodded back. But De Jong is able to get there. Oh, and he's dinked the keeper. It was a mistake by Alves. And we ended up scoring. I mean, I'll be honest. I wasn't expecting Luke De Jong to get the goal. But he did. It was a lovely finish as well. Absolutely fantastic finish, to be honest. Um, played back PK into Nico, who looked out wide to Ilias, who's... Caused a problem for Duarte, who tried to head it back towards. I don't know if that was to the keeper or centre half, but De Jong latched onto it and dinked him with only five minutes to go. That's an absolutely fantastic time to score and the goal to score. They've had more shots and more shots on target, but I mean, I guess we're winning, so there's nothing too much to worry about at the moment. This is where I kind of get a bit worried because if we're winning and we're not playing well, does that mean it's good? It's a sign we're a good team. Or is it because we're lucky? I don't know. We'll have to see. Well, at least Barcelona B won 4-0. That's nice. So something must be working. De Jong scored, though, which, I mean, maybe he can score some more for us. What we will do as well is we'll jump quickly to uh, the Champions League draw for group stage. And I'll show you kind of what the outcome is there because it's only a few days away. So here we are then. Um... Champions Cup group stage draw. Let's take a look at who might be in our group. So we'll flick through quickly uh, as it's always the first few. But we are in the second uh, seed as we're really bad. Um, <laughs> Man United it was sporting. I'm glad we're not in that group. Christ, look at that. Uh, if we get Lille or Villarreal. Oh, well, we can't get Villarreal. So I'd hope it's Lille. Looks like we've got Lille. That is very, very good for us. Um certainly so we go flick through again atalanta in that group what a group that is um who have we got left porto or leipzig i would say let's take porto because leipzig could be an issue oh yeah we're getting very lucky at the moment and i will happily take that um finally olympiacos or monaco it looks like we've got to have olympiacos because the Lille. not a bad group i have to say i'm pretty happy with that so there you go. We won't take a look at the transfer window because we're not going to make any transfers. We might sell some players and I'll show you who that is if we do sell them. Uh, but for now, we will leave it at that. Not a bad Champions League group to, to get. We could even get out of that group, which would be quite nice. But um, I will see you in the next video. Make sure you like, subscribe, all that good stuff to stay up to date with the new Barcelona beta save. Uh, and I will catch you in the next one.